Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a worksheet tutorial on Easter missing digits all operations. And this is on mathdrills.com. There'll be a link in the description below. Now from their website, I wanna show a couple things. Number one, they have these buttons here and this one is just the Easter worksheet. So if you take a look at that. And if we scroll down, what we can do here is I'm gonna download the full version. I'm gonna close this out. And then you're gonna see this pop up. And what's cool is you can actually go ahead and type right into the spaces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Mr. West. That's me if you didn't know. Um, let's, let's go ahead and pre-fill this. All right, so we got, I'm just kidding. But anyway, we have these buttons that we can type in and then we can save this and we can print it off later if we want. So pretty useful in that regard. But what this actual math application we have going on here is pretty interesting. These are missing digits and it's not just going inverse of multiplication doing division or inverse of subtraction doing addition. It's more than that. It's almost like a puzzle. So let me, I'm already on number two. So why don't I go ahead and start there? We have some blank plus, we have the plus uh, designated there, zero equals eight. So we know that's eight. Okay. And then the next one's tricky because we have eight plus something equals eight. So I guess it's going to be zero. Okay. I thought it was going to be tricky. It's not. And then uh, what we have here is we just have the eight. So we know that 888 is 88 plus 800. Okay, let's move on to number three. We have five plus six. This gets a little tricky because now it's 11. We have a one here. So now we have to carry that one. So that's really four plus one. And then that's five. So then we're gonna have another four here. So it really makes you think uh, a little bit more thoroughly on each problem. And there's a lot of strategy you can, you can use for this. This one's just eight times eight, 64. 64 divided by eight is eight. Same thing with number five. We're gonna see 16 divided by two or eight times two, we can go in reverse. Same thing here, we have something times 11, 88. Now we can go in reverse multiplication. And that case is just uh, eight. 88 divided by 11 is eight. Not all of them are that easy. Like for example, we have, uh, wow, a couple options to choose from. If we go to this rabbit on number 12, Happy Easter, by the way. We have subtraction. So this is where it gets a little difficult and you have a lot of options here. So we have two minus something equals five. Well, obviously we can't do that subtraction here. We'll need that to be uh, a 12. So 12 minus seven equals five. Now what we need to do is we essentially borrowed from the other number. Okay, so how much do we borrow? Well, we know we need to have four left over after borrowing. So we're gonna do four plus four is eight, add the one that we borrowed and that should be nine. Okay, and now we have four minus three and that's one. So we can double check our answer by doing 492 minus 347. And if it doesn't give us 145, then we didn't do it correctly and it is correct, okay? But um, it's not as easy as it looks, uh, you know, subtracting especially is a little difficult on this worksheet. Here we have something, we have one times one with the missing digit for the tens place times seven equals 84. So we have to do seven times something gives me four. Well, that's gonna be two, I think. Two times seven gives me four. And then I would have to carry that one. Seven times one is seven plus the one gives me eight. So there's a lot more strategy involved with these. These are good worksheets. I'll probably do more in the future, but I just wanted to show you how you can save this and you can find more worksheets like this on mathdrills.com. This is Mr. West and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.